In this video, I will show you how to convert an Excel date to a Unix timestamp like this. So let's get started. Here in this Excel sheet, I have some dates in this column. Now I want to convert these dates to Unix timestamps. The Unix timestamp is a running count of total seconds to track date and time. This count starts at the Unix epoch on 1st January 1970. So the Unix timestamp is simply the count of seconds between the Unix epoch 1st January 1970 and the given date. Here are the steps to convert these dates to Unix timestamps. The first step is to calculate the number of seconds each day has. There are 24 hours in a day. Each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. So there are a total of 24 into 60 into 60 seconds in each day. If we multiply these values, we get 86,400 seconds for each day. Dates are stored as serial numbers in Excel. It starts from the 1st January 1900 which is represented by the number 1. That means if you have a cell containing the number 1 and if you format it as a date, you will get the date 1st January 1900. Similarly, the number 2 will become the date 2nd January 1900 and so on. Since the Excel date starts from the 1st January 1900 and the Unix timestamp starts from the 1st January 1970, we need to get the number of days between these given dates and 1st January 1970 before we convert them to Unix timestamps. To do that, I am going to subtract the date 1st January 1970 from these dates. Once we have the number of days between these dates and 1st January 1970, I am going to multiply them by the total number of seconds per day which is 86,400 to get the Unix timestamp. Let's convert this calculation to an Excel formula. Let's type an equal sign to start the formula. First, I am going to subtract the date 1st January 1970 from these dates. To create that date, I am going to use the Excel date function. The date function returns the date based on the specified year, month and day. It accepts three arguments, year, month and day values. Let's type an opening bracket and then select the cell containing the date. Now type the minus sign followed by the text date and an opening bracket. Type 1970 as the first argument of the date function type a comma and then type 1 for the month of January as the second argument type a comma and then type 1 for the third day argument type the closing bracket of the date function followed by another closing bracket for the minus operation now type an asterisk character followed by the number 86400 to multiply the difference of days with the number of seconds each day has. Press the enter key to complete the formula. Copy the formula to other cells by dragging the cell down from the bottom right corner of the cell. As you can see, we now have the Unix timestamps for these Excel dates. If the values are not displayed properly, select all the cells in the timestamp column and press the Ctrl and 1 key on the keyboard to open up the format cells dialog box. Now click the number option from the right side. Set the decimal places option to 0 as we do not want any decimal places. Click the OK button to close the dialog box. The timestamps should be displayed in the proper format now. Watch these videos to learn more Excel tips, tricks and how to tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.